Hello guys, in this little video we are going to set up Grafana Prometheus node exporter on Arch. You can do the same thing on Debian or Ubuntu. The configuration is pretty much the same, the only difference is we're leveraging another package manager, in this case Pacman on Arch Linux. So first of all, here's my Arch Linux VM, just a base install, nothing done so far except sudo and a couple of packages installed. Let me close that. And as you can see, I'm already SSH into the machine. I just updated the machine to the newest kernel. And from this point on, we can start. First things first, you need to install the needed components. So what do you need to install? You leverage Pacman, you install Grafana, Prometheus and Prometheus node X exporter there we go install these three packages i already have them installed but just in case i'm just say yes so it basically installs over the existing files so there we go the next thing on the list we need to do is we need to set up prometheus or configure prometheus to do that you can leverage your editor of choice in my case i will use vim and we edit etsy prometheus prometheus dot yaml the only thing you have to change here and my cursor is already at the right position normally by default target would be 9090 as a port which would be prometheus itself but we want to scrape conf we want to scrape the values from node exporter so what you're going to do is you set the port to 9100 the rest of the configuration you can leave. We don't need to change anything specifically. I mean, you could technically set the scrape interval, how often it pulls in changes, uh, ev evaluation interval, you could set up the alert manager, but in our case, we just want to get metrics. So we just simply specify the node exporter port. So we can exit out of that and save it. Now the next thing on the list, we need to enable all the services and start Grafana and Prometheus. To do that, we will use systemctl with the dash dash now argument. So the services are enabled and started at the same time. First of all, we will select Grafana. Then we select Prometheus. And last but not least, least Prometheus node exporter and hit enter. As you can tell, it already was enabled on my machine. I already tested it before I tried it out. So you don't get any kind of, well, you don't get a message that these services are now enabled. If you do this for the first time, you will get a message that, hey, service Grafana Prometheus and Prometheus node exporter are started and enabled. Next on the list, we are already finished with the command line installation part of it. So we go over to our browser. In my case, the machine I have running here is available on 10.0.23.61 on port 3000. 3000 is the default port for Grafana. And we come to the login screen. Be aware, if you start Grafana for the first time, you need to set a new password. The default login is admin and the password is admin. Keep that in mind. So I will just log in since I've already set a password here and we come to the dashboard. What you need to do now is we need to specify a data source. The data source is where Grafana pulls the information from. So we navigate to data sources. As you can see, I don't have a source in here right now. We're going to select Prometheus and on the Prometheus tab, we need to give the connection URL, which as you remember is 9090 for Prometheus. Keep in mind, 9100 is for node exporter and 9090 is for Prometheus itself. And since we specified 9100 in the Prometheus configuration, we need to pull the information from Prometheus itself since Prometheus will pull it from node exporter. So we enter local, it's on the local host 9090. The name, we could change the name if we want to. I just leave it as default and we do a save and test. 
and you can see successfully queried Prometheus API. That's good. If we go back to data sources, we now have Prometheus as the data source in here. So the last part of the process is we want some information displayed. For that, we're going to need a dashboard. You could build a dashboard by hand if you want to. I mean, it makes sense if you have some custom things you want to display, you want to do some manipulation or graphs or bars or whatever. In this case, we will use a ready-made dashboard, which is called Node Exporter Full, and the ID for that is 1860. We're going to load that. There we go. And you could change the name here. I'll just call it Dashboard. You could select the folder that's totally up to you what you like and you need to select a data source and this is the data source we've just created click on import and there we have it if you go now to dashboards you can see there's our one dashboard we had just created and you can gather metrics about that machine so that was it for this short tutorial guys hope you liked it and enjoyed it have a good day